You're watching The Royal We. Thank you so very much, guys. My name is Kevin, and this video is titled Awakened to This Present Darkness. And the reason is because experiencing narcissistic abuse is like being in a nightmare, guys. I think we can all agree on that. Except it's not a nightmare. It's an ever-present evil and danger that's plagued humanity since the beginning of time. And it has no end to it, guys. Narcissistic evil has always existed. And once people accept and understand the reality of this evil, it can be beaten. And I'm going to show you how in this video. So just how far back can narcissistic abuse be traced? Well, I want to present two cases. Case number one, we're going to go all the way back to 4000 BC. This is the first recorded and documented murder in history, guys. And that's of Cain killing his own brother Abel in a narcissistic fit of rage. The killing wasn't because Abel did anything wrong. In the story of Cain and Abel, Cain killed his brother over a matter of favor. He, Abel simply outshined his older brother Cain in the story and was therefore killed. Now, many of you may have had siblings or parents mistreat you over a matter of being favored. The next case I want to present to you is out of the same time period, well, around the same time period, 1898 BC. This is also in the very first book of the Old Testament of the Bible, Genesis 37. It's the story of Joseph and how his own brothers betrayed him at a very young age, Joseph's own brothers plotted to kill him, not because he did anything wrong, once again, but because he had visions and dreams of being great. Listen, Joseph didn't even accomplish anything at this point. He didn't even receive favor, except for some favor from his dad, but he had visions and dreams. And his brothers, in a narcissistic, hostile fit, threw him into a pit and sold him into a slavery over his, his visions and dreams. Then the brothers lied to their father and pretended for the rest of their lives that they did not know what happened. Now, I know this doesn't make you feel any better, guys. It doesn't make me feel any better. In fact, it makes me feel worse. And I spent a lot of time questioning my faith at one point over this injustice. But my point here, and the reason I'm showing you this, is because narcissistic abuse has existed since the beginning. And we've been warned about it. And it's ever-present still today. Now, according to national statistics, 33% of women, that's one in every three women, will experience some form of physical violence by an intimate or a domestic partner within their lifetime. And 25% of men, as you can see there, one in four men have also been victims. Guys, on a typical day, there are more than 20,000 phone calls placed to domestic violence hotlines nationwide. Now, they call it domestic violence, but let's call it what it is. It's narcissistic abuse. This is just the USA alone. <laughs> this doesn't include the rest of the world, guys. And with such an alarming percentage, how do people become so vulnerable to this abuse? How do people fall into this trap and become victims of this abuse? Well, let's check this out and get into it. Most people, including myself, have been seduced by a culture that promotes a very relaxed, carefree, almost anything goes lifestyles. This, this, these lifestyles have, have been shown to us through images and messages, radio, television, billboards, advertisements. It, it's meant to show us what fun looks like, what family looks like, friendships look like, romance, on and on and on and on. And we took the bait. And as a result, we let our guard down. We become ignorant. We ignore our own sound judgment. And we get driven into the ground trying to create this life that's been marketed to us. We try to fit in with the good time crowd. We go to the places we have no business being, not worried about what can go wrong. We get into relationships with the hunky, beautiful, sweet-talking sex machine uh, whom we have no business being with. We do business with the charismatic, self-proclaimed know-it-all who's really a crook. And we keep going home to a mom and a dad and siblings hoping to find the Brady Bunch family when you should have moved far away from these crazy-making people a long time ago and start making your own crazy-making family. You know what I mean? And ultimately, behind the smokescreen of that pleasure-promising life that is marketed to us is the, just the same thing that's always existed, the hostile, violent, narcissistic evil that wants to kill, steal, and destroy. And there you are. And there I was, standing ignorant and naive and vulnerable, a target, a dupe, a sucker, a pushover. A sap, like a soldier who's on a battlefield without a weapon or a protective vest. Completely just vulnerable, guys. This is how narcissistic abuse works. 
Let me tell you something. The greatest weapon of narcissistic abuse is not their strength or their intelligence, guys, but it's ignorance. It's our own ignorance used against us, used against you to suppress your soul while you stay in the relationship trying to make it work. That is the narcissist weapon. But now knowledge and awareness is power. And even though you may feel like you have lost, once you get out and go no contact and get away from this narcissistically evil person, you actually have won. You won awareness. And with this knowledge is the strongest weapons anyone can possess. This is the good news. Now, I want to get into a proverb, and I'm going to use this proverb to spell out your weapons and how you're going to beat narcissistic abuse. All right, this is from Proverbs 2.10. It tells us about the weapons that we have. For wisdom will enter your heart. Guys, let the experience you had with the narcissistic abuse in your life add to your qualities. Let it add to your qualities. Let it create in you prudence and cautiousness. Let that wisdom create prudence and cautiousness and let it rest in your heart. And knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Find peace, guys, in your understanding of the world through your awareness. You can find peace now that you understand, you have knowledge of what takes place, you have knowledge of the evil, and let that bring you a peace because you understand that this is the way the world works. You understand the evilness and you're aware to it and you're aware of it rather. And this awareness should bring you a peace knowing that you can stay away from it. And that's the next one. Discretion will guard you. Utilize the freedom, guys, and you do have the freedom to decide what you do in every situation. You can behave and speak in a way that avoids problems. Likewise, you can go or not go to people, places, or events to avoid problems. Discretion will guard you. And lastly, understanding will watch over you. Your comprehension of narcissistic abuse and your mastery of wrestling with it. You understand how it works. There it is, guys. There's the four weapons to beat narcissistic abuse. Wisdom plus knowledge plus discretion and understanding. This is what will beat narcissistic abuse, guys. Nothing else. Thank you for watching. I hope that uh, you received this message well. It's cold out here and things get a little fogged up. I really hope that you liked the video that I shared. And guys, if you do, I, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest material that I'm going to put out. Also, take advantage of the fact that I leave my telephone number right there for you to contact me. Now, I am working on a course, and in time, the course will be available, and I hope to become more of a life coach and be able to help you through and walk you through the process of healing even more than I am right now. So, but until that time comes, take advantage of the fact the phone number is there. I do my best to answer each and every one of your phone calls, and I appreciate your comments. I appreciate all of your tips that would help me to better help you. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the Royal We and for sharing this journey with me.